Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here i want to take you through my evening routine like my evenings are never the same i do uh, different things in specific evenings like not all days i get to do the same thing so on this day i started by uh, preparing for dinner and this was around 2 p.m so i wanted to make these goat legs these goat legs i got them from the slaughterhouse this morning they were very very fresh because the guy actually got them direct from the goat yeah so i put them put them in the fridge so i want to prepare them i have to put them on the jiko i borrowed this recipe from my mom that is how my mom makes uh the goat leg. usually used to make goat legs now she doesn't take those uh stuff so i have to turn it from side to side so that they get dark and then i get to scrub them off uh so that you can get rid of the hair on the legs and also remove the forehoof and uh, uh, like scrub everything until we are remaining with a very thin skin the transparent one that is when i'll be able to extract the soup from there so i'll keep doing that and then i'll show you but i'll also be removing the hoof as i said uh, there's a way i'm going to remove it and then we shall be making the soup so if you are here and you're loving this video please give it a thumbs up like share widely if uh, you're my new subscriber thank you so much for being here and if you're watching me for the first time and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to this channel because it's for free and we keep growing up uh, on this channel together and to my returning subscribers how can i not uh, remember you thank you so much for always being here thank you for the support and if you're watching, please consider not to skip the ads because that is where we do get our revenue from. I love uh, experimenting different dishes. I don't fear experimenting anything unless it is something that I actually don't uh, get to eat. But I love bone soup. And I did not just want to get the plain bones that I normally get from it. Commission that I get bone soup. This time I wanted to uh, get some soup that has smoky flavors and the soup that i've actually made from scratch so i've i've always loved goat legs goat legs really get, uh, give you good good soup and for me to get that i had to go to the slaughterhouse and get that from uh the slaughter because i felt like getting them direct from the slaughter you are you are you are you are, you are sure of what you are getting you also know that they are very fresh and they are very affordable like all this i got at 50 shillings that is very affordable and i was able to extract a lot a lot of good good soup and concentrated soup like soup that hasn't been tampered with so that is how i scrub uh that with a knife it was a struggle at some point i felt like i still had some brush that i could actually scrub it with some metal brush it could have done some good wonders for removing the the fuzz so here i'm removing the the hoof once it's burned it's easier for it to come off so it it's never difficult for that hoof to come off and you have to remove that hoof because that uh, hoof actually steps down so we have to remove the outer one and then we get uh we remain with the inner one because the inner one is very exposed so it's not exposed the outer one is exposed we, don't, we really don't need it and then for, uh, on the upper side there's also those small small hoofs you also have to remove them you have to get rid of them and then you'll be able to have something that is hygienically hygienically uh, clean for you to actually consume so the rest are not ready so i'll still keep tossing them because uh I, I did not want to struggle like scrubbing off the the fur because and we have something that can actually get rid of the fur very fast so that is why i'm using the jiko and also trying to use the knife to scrub it off but i think next time i'll have to get that brush to help me so that i can scrub this off if you really love such kind of recipes you love soups you know a uh, bone soup is so good for your health 
it's something that you can take and uh it's so good by the way it's really nourishes one and if you have an immune system that is struggling you can always get a uh, bone soup if you don't want to get your bone soup that is ready you can always make your own bone soup if you have the grace to go and uh, stand in the slaughterhouse and order this then just do it because you get very very good soup because I got really good soup. I extracted I extracted good soup from here. This was just a mess. <laughs> I had to sit there and scrub that. Never mind. I had to just scrub those hooves. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I after scrubbing it i just have to leave it dark like that because we also have some we need some smoky flavors i added some salt and some boiling water i'm going to cook this for two to three hours uh using the charcoal and then we'll just get the soup from there The next thing that I got from the slaughterhouse is the hemp and I want to make the hemp. The hemp has good flavors. It's very delicious. It's very shaky and very uh, soft. I love it because it has these amazing flavors. Like I always say, every part of the cow has its own flavors, has a way of you trying to make it and get all the flavors that you need. So I'll cut through it. And then I'll cut it into smaller cubes and then I'll think I'll give you the recipe on this one. And trust me, the recipe that I'm going to give you on this one is just so, so good. And you will never go wrong with such kind of recipe. So I'll cut it into smaller pieces like it has these white lines. I think uh, there are veins passing through it. And this kind of meat is so flavorful. So this is how it looks like. Then I'm going to add some oil into my pot. Add mixed spices. So here I have coriander, I have garlic, onion, turmeric, curry powder, garam masala. I'm going to mix all this together, infuse in my oil, and then I'll now add in the hemp. Then I'll be mixing until everything is well incorporated. Trust me, all the flavors into uh, all the flavors from um the spices will be absorbed into the meat if you cook it this way. I also added some salt, by the way, so I seasoned that meat very well. So I'll be mixing this and then I'll cover it because it will be releasing its own juices. I'll reduce the heat it, uh, to low heat, then cook it for 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. It's still, it has gotten all the spices and all the flavors. Then we don't also want to scatter the uh, the spices so that the spices can also go uh, on the broth and also the meat can remain plain. No, I just want to mix it well and then now I'll add in water, not water, I'll add in the onions and the fresh garlic, then mix them well and then now I'll be adding water. This is how I add my water on a specific spot without having to sprinkle on top of the meat. And then I'll just cover this, still lower the heat to uh, medium. It's medium now. I'm not use, going to use low. Then I'll cover it for like 40 minutes. And then here, uh, this is my friend who came to visit. Yeah, she has fled into Kenya and she came to visit me. And we were having a good time also trying to make some traditional food. This is uh, some wheat that I was sent uh, from home and then I have some maize. I want to mix them together. This ugali is very delicious. It's something that I've eaten all my life. So I'm going to mix some maize and some wheat in it. It's very organic wheat. And then I'm going to take to the posho meal and get it milled and then we shall be making some ugali. So after that, I had sent it to the to be milled. So the soup is ready. I've decided to transfer it into a smaller pot so that I can add uh, my spices. So I've decided to add fresh onions, fresh garlic and also some spice. I also added some salt and also added salt vinegar mix just so that we can get some tanginess. I'm telling you the flavors inside there are just amazing. The smoke and everything is just so good so i'll just be adding those let it boil a little bit cover this meat with a foil so that we can retain all the heat inside and also let it cook uh, with the steam 
I will lower the heat until it is completely low. Then cook this for 15 minutes. I'm telling you, it will just soften on its own without having to pressure cook it. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling. So the flour has been milled already. I want to cook some ugali. If you've ever had a mixture of wheat and this uh, maize, I'm telling you this is very delicious. You can never compare it with anything. You can never compare it with any ugali. Like I love it. It's very delicious. It's very nutritious. It has all the fibers. So I'll make some ugali as we wait for the meat. Sometimes we're crashing down. But we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my so normally I put uh, spaces like this after just cooking it for a while and then I'll be covering it with a foil, lower the heat and then just let the heat that will accumulate inside that ugali just to cook it slowly until it is done. Then after that I'll just come and turn it a little bit and then I'll, it will be ready to be served. So this meat is done. It's so so tender like I did test it and it was very very tender. So I mixed everything like all all the spices that we had did not just get lost like that like they all went into the meat and it tastes so delicious just know this kind of spices that you can just boil your meat with for a long time not every spices is fit to boil your meat for a long time some just are destroy and diminish all the flavor so this is tamarind that i had soaked uh just a little bit it's sweet and sour so i'm going to add in just a little bit inside there give it a good mix cover it let it cook and gain for like a two to three minutes until it absorbs all that tanginess into that meat i'm telling you, even after, uh, even when i'm explaining this I can just still uh, feel the taste that I felt. <laughs> so I added some coriander and green pepper just for garnish. And this is so, so delicious. As I waited for the ugali to cook, I did not cover it. I just turned off the heat. And these are the result. You don't have to overcook the pepper because you want all the flavors and aromas from the pepper to be absorbed into the meat. And this was delicious. No uh tomatoes like i said not every meat calls for tomatoes so uh this ugali is done at this point it's done i can actually i could actually get all the aroma so it was uh all done so i'm using a foil so so that i can just align it nicely so that when i'm cutting through it i do it doesn't get to be messy it's a little bit sticky but it's worth it i'm telling you when you take this with even some fermented milk this is so so delicious so i'm going to fold it that is how i do fold it shape it up and then i'll just uh, be cutting it into rounder circle yeah it's easier to serve it that way it's less messy and we have to retain it to be warm as we wait for other food to be ready so i'm making some skuma wiki i'm only using some onions and then i'm going to add this uh, skuma wiki i got my mamboga to cut it for me uh, she's i i love her like she really gets me very clean and nice uh, green so i've added some salt sprinkle some salt i'm going to cover this lower the heat let it just cook a little bit uh, while we we retain the greenness as you can see it's ready and it's so ready to be served driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out where the road goes even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs 
say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Because it's still early, I decided to just serve the kids and I'll be eating later. It's around 640s, headed 7. Yeah, it looks bright, but it's around 640s. So I've decided to just remove the clothes uh, from outside that I had hanged. I want to unhang them, fold them. And then I have clothes inside the machine that I want to also hang. And then I have clothes down there that I'll be running, but I'll not be running them here. As I said, my evening is uh, always different. Like they are never the same. There are days I get to do a lot. There are days I don't get to do a lot. Like on this uh, day, I had planned myself. In the evening, I'll also, I, I will only make dinner. Then I'll fold clothes and then I'll remove the shoes from the doorstep. And then we shall see what is next. Hotel and where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Figure out where 